Dad just had a baby. Says sometimes she say, feels like she has two children, not one. One is the three-month-old Jared, and the other is her fiancé, Jeffrey. He's the other child. He says he plays video games, hangs out with his friends, never helps out, never holds the baby, never takes care of the baby, never has anything to do with the baby. Is that correct? It's correct in some way. Some, he do do things, but when he do do it, he has an attitude doing it. He, when he do do it, he just, well, it's your job. I'm not supposed to do this. I go to work all day. And, and when he comes in, I give him the baby so I can take a shower, because sometimes I haven't taken a shower. And he gets mad, and you pawning the baby off on me. And <laughs> if you hold the baby while I take a shower, that's called pawning the baby yeah. off on you. And the baby cries. This is the problem. This is the real problem. The baby cries when the baby is with Jeff. That's because Jeff works all the time. And when he's not at work, he's playing his game or something. And the baby just don't feel comfortable with him. With yeah, him. Doesn't they know haven't bonded yet, and so he blames the baby? Three months. Here's a little bit of how Jeffrey feels. Take a look. Selena, I'm here to tell you that you need to do your job and take care of the house while I'm out working 16 hours a day. I work hard, and I think I should have the same respect from you instead of having the baby slung in my arms as soon as I come home. I need chill time. I need time to wind down. Let's bring out Jeffrey. Jeffrey, Hi. why do you feel it's not your job to take care of Jared? That's not what I feel. Okay. I feel that if I work 16 hours a day, I come home, I should have a little bit of time to wind down. I think that's true. And she doesn't give that to me. If I made a deal with you now, you work the 16 hours, you come home, you have half an hour, and then you take care of the baby for the next four hours, would you buy that deal? Sure. What? Sure. Girlfriend, I've just gotten you the best deal you're ever going to have. Okay. You know that's a lie. It's not even going to happen. It's not even going to happen. It won't happen. It won't happen because he's going to want to play his guitar. He's going to want to play his game. He's going to want to go down to his friend house. It's not going to happen. He, he takes care of the baby financially because he do, he do work a lot. And it's just that he gets mad at me because the baby cries with him. Well, if, you're, if the baby's not used to you, the baby, first of all, three-month-old babies cry. Put a bottle in their mouth from time to time, and they won't cry as much. Go ahead. Why is he a bad father? Yeah, why am I a bad father? He's, it's because he don't, spend, he don't spend time with me nor the baby. You, you just... I don't know. You'd rather just play your game and your guitar and go down to your friend's house. And, and we argue about this all the time. I think a lot of families do. Do you consider yourself a male chauvinist? Yeah. She does. <laughs> do you? Not necessarily. No. I, uh, I was raised in, in a family where both parents worked. Okay. You know, and you know, they share the responsibility equally. Okay. That's not happening in my family. If she it, It's went, not happening. If Every she... when, I, when I go to work, I get up at 7.30 in the morning, and I go to work. Right. I get home sometimes 10.30, 11.30, 12 o'clock at night. Right. Okay? And when I come home from work, I'm tired. That's all there's to it. I'm just tired. I'm not getting a break when the baby sleeps. But wait, is she, when she's worked, when she's taking care of the baby, We're not talking about just the, the baby here. We're talking about everything, the whole house thing. But that's I shouldn't have to come home from work and clean up the house. I shouldn't have to come home from work and, 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 and wonder if, before I come home, if anything's going to be done. Suppose she had a job. Do you want her to get a job? Sure, if she wants a job, she can have a job. I, I don't have a problem with that at all. And if she does that, then we'll have to figure out a way to make sure that both of us can spend time with the baby. There's such a thing as daycare. You know, I mean, we can take care of the daycare situation. I'm not going to sit here and listen to, to her talk about how bad of a dad I am. I'm not a bad dad. Okay, okay. Selena? I, mean, I have something to say. It's kind of hard. When a baby don't sleep, I can't sleep. And you know he has not been sleeping during the day. And it's kind of hard to get stuff done when he want to be picked up and then and stuff. And then I have to do laundry. I have to do dishes. I don't mind doing the stuff. But I just ask you to pick your stuff and pick up after yourself, and it would be easier for me to do all of that. That's great. And go get a job and help me pay bills, OK? Because you, you think I enjoy having to go to work for 16, 17 hours a day? You think, you think I like that? Nobody enjoys it. Nobody enjoys it. Absolutely not. And it's a partnership. We should be partners. Well, in that case, we should be partners with the baby. You should have an attitude with me when I ask you to feed him. 
or the, change them. You know, this sounds like a pretty typical uh, argument that I hear a lot, where the women are saying the men still don't help around the house, and the men are saying, I work so hard, why should I have to do anything around the house? Uh, 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 and you know what? You get out of the relationship exactly what you put in it. If you take care of that child, the child will love you. If you stay away from the child, the child will. So the deal is you're not the worst guy in the world, but you could use some tuning up. And let me tell you what the tuning up is. Don't say things to a woman like, it's your job. That's very old-fashioned stuff. It's your job. It's a woman's I'm responsibility. Guy, you know? We're going to drag you into this century. You don't want to uh, stay in the old century. You know why? You're now a father, and you're responsible for consciousness raising on your son so that he doesn't grow up in the last generation. Jeffrey. You know, I was saying before, I see it from your point of view, and it sure looks right to me, man. He comes home, he had a child, he doesn't want any part of it. What a horrible guy. Yeah. I see it from your point of view. Well, she's home all day long. What the hell should she do? She, the baby's sleeping. She can't take a shower while the baby's in bed. Somehow, neither one of them just quite fit right. They seem like they're all based on expectations and how it was supposed to be. I got to tell you, I got to give you a lot of credit. You work 16 hours a day, two jobs, one that belongs to somebody else and one to start your own company. With considering the people that we've seen on the show, I think you deserve a lot of credit for that. I agree. Thank you. There's two, two prescriptions I have. And the first of all is, the first one is to look at what you expect of each other, how you think a wife is supposed to be, how you think a husband who is now a father is supposed to behave, and see the difference between what you expected and what you've got. Because that's where the trouble lies. And the other thing is to really listen to what each other is asking for. She is asking for a break. And your frustration over not having the time that you need to take care of your own personal business and to be the person that you still are is what's not being met here as well. And that doesn't feel good either. I agree. As, 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 as for you, if you miss out on taking care of the baby, you are missing one of the best things that Oh, you know, know. There, are, there are a million guys I know right now, one of them very close to us on this staff, who change places with you like mm -hmm. that just to have a baby. But you we really also have the idea grateful. that we bring the baby home and suddenly we become parents, yeah. like we zip into a parent suit. Yeah, you don't. It takes some getting used to, doesn't it? Oh. Yeah. It doesn't it? Does. Help me out. <laughs> guests for being here today, especially Dr. Gary. Safe trip back to California. Thank you, Sally. Right? Any questions or comments, check out our website, sallyjr.com. See you down the road. Yeah.